Yo guys, welcome back. This is me, Mo. Today's topic is what things you need to face if you are a freelancer video editor. Let's get started. Then. I have got a project to edit an 8 minute video and I need to do it in documentary styles. And yes, I only have 2 days to complete it, which is very little time. You know what happened on the first day? I spent a lot of time checking the client's message. Just as I was about to start working, the power cut off, which is common during the summer for us. So I started doing some other work and the power came back on at night. I was very tired by then and the whole day was waste. So I thought I will start fresh tomorrow and leave it for today. Now it's second day. I have to complete the video before midnight tonight. So I start working. I use Adobe Premium Pro for editing clips and audio and After Effects for creating extra motion graphic. You can use whichever software you are comfortable with. Firstly, it is important to organize your files into folders based on their category. This makes it easier to find files later. For example, separate folders for A role, B role, music, SFX and other extra. My client has only provided me with a voiceover and a script because this is a faceless video so I don't have any roll b -roll. I have to read the script myself and search for similar script or content on YouTube, web browser or Google which can be quite time consuming. However, some client provide everything needed in the script which is great. Now let's move to Premium Pro. First I add the voiceover and mark where the scene will change based on it. Then I read a paragraph from the script and import the necessary stock footage clips or article accordingly. After that, I arrange them in the timeline. Let me give you an example of a scene. If the script say, going to 2018 at the age of 17 year old, then she had nothing but a mental image. I need to create a scene accordingly. I will need a footage for the background. I will select this clip and replace it with an After Effects composition. I can do this in Premium Pro, but I prefer After Effects for additional feature, especially for motion graphics. Next, I will add a text 2018 and animate it. Then I will take an old photo of Jingxi and add a transition to it. And after some work, now the scene is ready. I will continue doing the same for the entire project. Because time is very limited, I can't work meticulously. I quickly add footages and do some basic editing. By now, I have completed 50% of the editing and it's already 4 pm. Then I receive a message from the client. He say, hey, how is going? Can I see how much work you have done? Saying this message, I can't even begin to describe my mental state. I have very little time left and I will have to render it and show them half of the project even if I don't want to. I have to send it to them and by the time they see the message, it's already 7 pm. Then the client replies, question, why the editing quality is not like before and why it's so basic? After that, I am just like, dude. Not only did you give me less time, but you also asked it for a documentary style. And now you are saying you don't like it. Do you think I am a robot? But I can't say all this to the client. So I tell them, if you give me more time, I can do better editing. Then unexpectedly, the client tell me, alright, I will give you an extra 6 days to do it properly. Then I can't express my relief and happiness to you all. I spend the remaining time sleeping because now I have 6 more days so I think I will start from tomorrow. Then next day, I work on my project in good mood. I add extra element, more details, I use more better motion graphics like camera effect, unique intros and much more. This makes the video more interesting. After completing half of the video, I send it to the client. And he reply, like it your message, uh, which means they are satisfied, everything is good guys. But after a win, the client sent another message saying, he is my friend, blah blah. He wants you to edit a 10 minute video for him in 5 days. So complete both mine and his video in 5 days, okay? Now what should I say to you all? Currently I have two moods. In my first mood, I am like, man, I already have one project. And now they have given me another one, both with only 5 days to complete. I also have to make my own video video, handle outsource chance and manage college work. I will be exhausted at this rate. In my second mood, I am like, wow, the more project, the more money, I am going to add big. Oh no guys, 
I'm not sure how to react, but I managed to complete both projects somehow. I'm telling you, if you are a freelancer video editor, this is just my opinion, you might not agree. Your mind will be constantly occupied, your daily routine will be disturbed, and even your holidays won't be peaceful. Your sleep might be suffer as well. But beyond all this, when the work is done and payments come in, that joy is unparalleled. Something only an editor can understand. And this payment serves as a motivation for future work. Some clients are even generous enough to say that if the video gets a certain number of views, they will pay extra. Some clients satisfied with the work increase the payment voluntarily. The better our editing skill, the higher the payments tend to be. Sometimes I even add extra element to pay the client. Like creating motion graphic from paper animation like Ali Abdal do. You might think you need to buy this paper graphic bundle, but don't worry about the cost. I will provide them to you for free. You just need to watch this video. I even teach you how you can use them and create this type of motion graph. So be sure to check out that video. Thank you guys so much for 20 followers. Thank you.